Hello and welcome to Tapping. Wait, I don't know if it started yet. It's okay. Hello. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. It was telling me it was live and then it was like it was counting it down. So welcome to Tapping Tuesday. This is Dawn. I'm super excited. I actually just got off um, with a group of wonderful ladies and a group I'm part of and uh, we were being um, interviewed for a uh, podcast, or not interviewed, we were having a discussion um, about a podcast that, about a group I'm in. So that was super exciting and it's always wonderful to connect and feel like you're part of a community and be part of a like-minded, conscious, intentional community of people who, you know, who are on the healing path or the self-development path and really just being more conscious and aware and intentional about their self-care and what they're allowing into their into their soul into their awareness into their lives because you know we're ultimately responsible for our well-being so thank you for being here so this is part of your well-being is listening to this tapping demonstration and if you're new to this tapping demo uh, this is something that I come on every Tuesday and then cross post it to all my social media accounts um, to really just help people discover EFT tapping and how you can use EFT tapping for different aspects and things that are going on in your life, whether it's grief or breakup or self-esteem or confidence. Um, this week, it's been a super full, uh, super moon, full moon. And I am one of those people who is very connected to the moon. I get a lot of energy from the moon. I It wakes me up <laughs> sometimes outside my window. Windows. Um, the moon will shine into my window sometimes at 9 p.m., sometimes in the middle of the night. And the other night, I had this beautiful full moon activation just sort of happen. And I think it was a, a day or two after it was actually a full moon. Um, but this moon has been really super powerful for me. And actually, a year ago, I remember I was in Malibu with my friend Lily from Canada. Hi, Lily, if you're watching. And we were at this beautiful place on the ocean, um, this restaurant, and we were there in the evening. And so we actually got to watch the full moon, you know, over the ocean, which was a beautiful experience. <laughs> Usually I just see it out my window or if I'm taking a, a walk in the evening or I purposely of course go out to see it and seek it out or you know if I'm not in a place I'll drive to see it just so I can see it if it's too hazy where I live in Santa Monica. However, so the other night I think it might have been about like between 2 and 4 a.m. I saw this beautiful light coming in through through my window and I got up and used the restroom and then saw the light, went over to the window, saw the moon and connected with it. I did a little grounding. Grounding is where you just imagine tree roots coming out of the bottoms of your feet. I grounded myself to get into that space and I just started tapping. I just felt this energy and you know sometimes you know we're all human we all have ups and downs roller coasters believing in ourselves not believing in ourselves you know am i good enough to teach other people who am i to you know the whole imposter syndrome thing um and so sometimes you know just to boost that confidence and i just started these words just started coming to me i claim my power i claim my power i claim my power so i just started tapping on that and i started crying there was this beautiful release and this beautiful energy that was coming through me so that's why i thought today in my tapping demo we would tap on i claim my power because you know there are certain times in our life maybe more you know so than others that we may feel disempowered whether it's a relationship or a person in our life that is maybe a little controlling or an energy vampire that kind of sucks the life out of us or a friend or a family member or a situation with your children, whatever it is, circumstance where we can feel disempowered. 
And during these tapping demos, they're just meant to be general tapping demonstrations. It's not meant to be individual therapy for anyone. Of course, that's what one-on-one -on -one sessions are for. So I invite you to tap along. I encourage you to tap along, but knowing that you are taking responsibility for your own well-being if you choose to tap along. And if there's any words that I'm saying that do not resonate, please feel free to insert your own words because when you're tapping on your own, which I encourage you to do, then um, the more specific you are, the better. So whether you're tapping on something positive or something negative, the more specific you are, the better. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. And when you're tapping, you can tap on the same thing. You can say the same thing over and over again, or you can vary the wording. Um, sometimes the, today, since we're tapping on this specific thing, I'm probably not going to vary the wording as much as I normally do. And if you're new to tapping and you don't know the tapping points, um, I'll say them out loud as we go, but be sure that you review the uh, video where are the tapping points and that should be posted across all my social media platforms if it's not please let me know and i will double check that so let's start with the karate chop point take a deep breath and just noticed when you say the words i claim my power right now as we're starting to tapping how true does that seem for you so 10 being, it means the truest for me. One meaning, nope, don't connect to it at all. And let's start tapping. Even though in the past, there have been situations or people who have made me feel disempowered, I deeply and completely honor and accept myself. Even though in the past, perhaps there have been moments of feeling disempowered, for whatever reason, but that's in the past. And I choose to move forward with claiming my power because I do claim my power and I am powerful and empowered in this moment. And I want to live in that space more and more. So I leave the past in the past and I deeply and completely honor and accept myself. Even though in the past there may have been moments where I felt disempowered or wasn't able to connect to that power within me, I forgive those moments. I forgive perhaps that person who made me feel that way. And I forgive myself for allowing myself to feel disempowered. And either way, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Inside the eyebrow, anything from the past that had me feeling disempowered, side of the eye, I want to let it go. Under the eye, and if I had those moments in the past, under the nose, I choose to forgive myself. Chin point, I choose to forgive the situation, collarbone, or the person who had me feel like I was disempowered. Under the arm, or perhaps I don't even know what it feels like to feel fat, powerful under the chest, or what it feels like to claim my power. Wrist points, but I choose to claim my power now. Top of the head, I choose to feel my power. Inside the eyebrow, I choose to see it. Side of the eye, I choose to integrate it. Under the eye, I choose to remember that I can access that power at any time that I need it. Under the nose, or I choose to focus on it. Chin point, I have all the tools I need within me. Collarbone, I am more powerful than I ever believed 
was even possible. Under the arm, and I claim my power now. Under the chest, I choose to be in that beautiful, powerful state at least a few times every day. Wrist points, and it's possible. Top of the head, it's possible to tap into my innate power. Inside the eyebrow, my masculine or my feminine power. Side of the eye, it's there for me to access. Under the eye, and I was born with it. Under the nose, it is my birthright. Chin point, it is my ancestral right to access that power within. Collarbone, and my power does not get affected by outside circumstances. Under the arm, it is an internal power. Under the chest, and it is mine and mine alone. Wrist points, it is mine and mine alone. Top of the head, no one can ever strip me of this power again. Inside the eyebrow, and I claim my power. Side of the eye, I claim my power now. Under the eye, I am powerful. Under the nose, and I fucking own it. Under the chin, because it is mine. Collarbone, I claim my power. Under the arm, I claim my power now under the chest, because I am worthy. Wrist points, I am worthy and I claim my power. Top of the head, it is mine and I choose to tap into it each and every day. Okay, take a deep breath. Now, just imagining that scale 10 being, I fucking claim my power. One meaning, I'm not tapped into it all. Just let me know in the chat where you are now after doing this tapping activation. And just knowing that your power is in the present moment. The past is in the past, we can't change it. The future is still ahead of us. Our power lies in the present moment. So doing things that bring you in the present moment, whether it's tapping, meditation, breath work, yoga, doing that activity that you lose yourself in. Like earlier, I was talking to a client and she said she puts on music, five or six songs, and she loses herself in it. That's being present in the present moment. So I invite you to live in it. Live in the present moment, live in your power, claim your power, because it's yours. And whatever happened in the past, whatever happened yesterday, an hour ago, 10 minutes ago, claim it now. Thank you for joining. If you have any comments or any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the below section or reach out and send me a DM. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your powerful, wonderful, connected, centered, grounded day. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm.